It's going to be time soon to address the uh, severe problem this bike has, the uh, seat post. Seat post is out. Seat post was in at one time. Uh, it has been removed. You can see uh, some nice damage marks here. This raises, of course, the, uh, the classic uh, statement, classic question of bike mechanics, and that is, who did this? Uh, this is quite the, uh, oh, I don't know, we could say hack job. Uh, did not need to be chewed up so bad. This is after a wire wheel, by the way. I tried to clean it up as best possible, so that uh, is a bit of ugliness. I'm afraid we are not going to be able to replace this. We do need this seat post. It's a very unique system here. Uh, I'm not sure if it was proprietary, but you don't see it on other bikes other than uh, the Peugeot line uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, we have a plug inside, an internal plug, it's supposed to be floating. It, it sits up against the seat post here, uh, much like a stem. You may be familiar with uh, how a stem works, pulls a wedge up, expands, and that keeps the stem tight. This system is a little bit like that. Uh, so this bolt is floating now, but it should be going into a nut. There's the, uh, the wedge pieces here, internal wedge. Um, wedge, not a good name. Possibly plug is a better name. Pulls up the nut, expands, and that keeps it tight. The saddle does have to come off in order to manipulate, raise, and lower. Not a very practical system. And now, a very difficult system. Let's have a look inside and see if we can see the wedge in there down inside here uh, that piece is stuck uh, that's going to be interesting to get out here so we're going to begin possibly with some soaking uh, we turn this back upside down let's listen here that piece we're hearing that's actually the nut uh, you feel inside, I could just feel the nut inside, the bolt would go up inside of there. So the floating piece that we hear is stuck. Uh, so it will be uh, kind of fun to proceed with this. We do have a split on one side. Let's grab a, a flashlight here and see if we can get a better, better view of this. Down inside there. Along here, we have a split in our wet and our plug that allows it to expand. So uh, we'll have to do some uh, some more thinking on this piece here. Uh, we do not want to resort to the uh, the dreaded uh, jab saw. So the seat uh, wedge in here, this sheet uh, plug, is causing a problem. Uh, time to, to give it give it a try. Uh, we're hoping to avoid the jab saw. Uh, this saw, uh, this uh, hand saw is designed to go down blind holes. We could go down here and saw pieces of it and, and pound it out. Uh, that, that would work. Uh, it's a bit tedious. It, it can work wonders. Uh, it does cut. We've got to be careful not to, uh, to cut our frame. Um, however, we do want this piece. It's not that we can throw it away. We do need that piece. Uh, so this is where we'll have to, to do some thinking. Uh, pounding it down is not a true option. That concave shape is going to just swedge it down further. Reaching below and pulling it up, it's also concave on the other side. Uh, the nut pulls up. Again, we can hear the nut down there. That's not going to be a good option. What we're going to try is to turn it, and this is a tool uh, that we made, which is kind of handy having a welder at Park Tool and an engineer. Uh, this socket is not a particular, it's only a 3 8 drive, it's a 12 millimeter, but it just happens to fit. The socket just is a snug fit down inside the hole. We've cut a groove in it with, uh, with the uh, die grinder, the chop saw on the, the die grinder here, cut off wheel. And we've welded in a slug, a piece of, uh, piece of headset wrench. Uh, this is now too long. It doesn't really fit inside. 
we're going to grind it shallower and shallower, a little bit smaller here, so it just fits inside. So, let's go back to the uh, grinder, grab our safety glasses, and... Uh, we're back in uh, welding here with our power sander. We're going to try and shorten this up a little bit. Let's... Uh, Crank it up on here. What we're attempting, what we're attempting is to get our protrusion here equal to the thickness of that that plug in there. And I believe that's going to be it right there. So let's let's give that a go. We're going to attempt a little warming. Not too much. It's an aluminum piece inside. We're going to try and really disrupt the bond between the two surfaces. So just a little bit of heating there. Uh, we have a pretty good fit inside the hole. Uh, we need to catch that, that wedge shape in there, that plug. And we're going to turn it only counterclockwise due to the nature of the, uh, the shape of that slot. And let's give it a go. Been oiling this every day. Let's see if we have any luck. Easy. Easy does it here. Oh, that's bad. Not so good. I hope we don't have to do the jab saw here. Oh, boy. Well. Not so good. Looks like we are going to plan B. There she comes. Ho ho. Success. We are out. You can see the conical shape. The plug on one end. Let's get that plug out. Plug will fit inside. Wedge it open. Jam it. Uh, this will get copious amounts of anti-seize when we go back together. So, hooray. The Montsenis lives. And we do have another mystery piece. That. We will need to work on as well. <laughs> 